In the space of just two hours, this family lost everything. A direct hit from a shell brought down the walls. It took just an instant for the house to become a ruin. They hadn't yet gone to bed when the shelling began. They heard it first from afar, but with every minute it moved closer, as mother Yana explained. She said, We were lying in the room around the divan at first, but when we heard the blast, we ran toward the children and threw mattresses on them and threw ourselves on them to save them. Ten minutes later, we heard another blast and the gate flew away and the car was hit. And after that, we can't remember anything. The house is in the Luhansk region of East Ukraine, where in spite of a nominal ceasefire, fighting between Russian-backed militants and Ukrainian forces continues. Inside, among the ruins, the family's six children are at play. They're half asleep and don't yet understand what's happening. Yana and husband Sasha have decided to go to Sasha's brother's house because he has what everyone in the area values now most of all. As Sasha puts it, We're going to my brother's. He has a big basement and that might save us if it comes to it. Across the road, two more damaged homes. Whilst some owners are taping up the windows, others don't know where to begin. A huge crater from a shell hit here in the yard of this home, shattering all of its windows. The couple living here had fled from Luhansk, where their house had also been caught in the crossfire. They came here to this village, hoping to get away from the fighting. The owner leads us out to his garden in the back, which has now been ruined. There'll be no potato crop this year. Our reporter at the scene described the situation. She said, This whole field is strewn with craters from shelling. The Ukrainian army's positions have been targeted with heavy artillery. As you can see, these holes reach almost to the height of a person. Ukrainian soldiers believe that this was most likely the work of the Carnation, a Soviet-era mobile artillery unit. The shelling is believed to have come from a nearby area which remains under the control of Russian-backed militants about 18 kilometers away. Its caliber was 152 millimeters, which means that under the terms of a peace deal signed in February, its use is banned. This soldier gave an account of the situation. He said, There were drones here overnight doing the groundwork. When they were firing on us, the drones were all around. They were accurate and modern. Yana and her family, meanwhile, are still trying to understand the extent of their losses. They've been visited by government officials who came to photograph the damage, but real help has so far come only from the soldiers, who in the immediate aftermath of the shelling brought them food and have promised to help them move to a safer location.